Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos for you every Tuesday. Today's video is my top five weekly planners for 2020. These are just my personal favorites, my personal top fives from my year of reviews, some of which I personally use and I will let you know which ones. However, that does not mean they are the best planners out there. It's just personal preference, y'all. These are my top five favorites. I'm also gonna have five runners up because it was so hard to choose. Last week, I posted a video on my top five daily planners. I will put that link down below in the description here. There's gonna be a lot of links down in the description. I will link every full video. So on each one of these planners that I'm going to show you, I have a full review video here on YouTube, but we're not going to be going through the whole planner today. I'm just going to show you the planner and tell you why it's my favorite, what features stand out to me. So then if it's one that you're interested in, you can go and view that entire video and see all the details. So I'm going to list all those videos down below, link them for you. I'm also going to have links to all my discount codes down below for the planners that I show you today. All right, let's jump right in. Number one, if you follow me on Instagram, this is no surprise to you. My number one favorite weekly planner is Erin Condren. Now remember, this video is just weekly planners. My daily planner video was last week. I have been using an Erin Condren weekly vertical for over two years now. I have not switched out of it. I have switched my daily planner around a lot. I plan in a daily and a weekly planner, but I have never switched in over two years, almost two and a half, my Erin Condren. It just works for me and it makes me happy. And I will tell you those specific reasons why. But I also wanted to group in when I say Erin Condren is my favorite weekly planner. I also think they offer a stellar bound book planner. These videos are not up on YouTube yet. They are actually coming up in December. I'm pretty sure. I have her soft bound. This is just the small and then her soft bound focused planner. This is the small size. I also have the large size. And like I said, I've shown those on IGTV. Those full videos will be on YouTube very soon. Even though this is my top pick from Erin Condren of my favorite weekly planner, I wanted to show you that I really think these are stellar planner options from Erin Condren. Also, I didn't want to leave those out since I was talking about her company and weekly planners. Today, I have $10 off Erin Condren. Only if it's your first purchase. So I have a link down below. You sign up through that link for your first purchase. If you have not already opened account, an account with them, and then you will get a $10 coupon code mailed to you. I'm also an affiliate with Erin Condren and with many of these companies today. And my affiliate link will be down below. It helps me so much if you're ordering, if you use my affiliate link, that's what keeps my channel going. If you like my videos, all you have to do is if you're already making a purchase, purchase through my affiliate link so that I get credit. That keeps me going here on Amanda's favorites. It doesn't do anything else different to your sale or to your personal account there. I truly, appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Why is Erin Condren my favorite weekly planner? So many reasons, but I will try to recap it in just a few. I love her colors. They just make me happy how the colors switch with every month of the year. They flow with the seasons here in America and with the holidays, and that makes me happy that the colors flow and switch with that. I don't use sticker kits from any other company. I only use Erin Condren stickers, and I don't use that many except for holiday time. So holiday time, I do buy some of her extra sticker sheets on Erin Condren, but in general, I just use her monthly collection sticker book, and that's pretty much the rest of my planner. I sticker my whole planner right when I get it, and I don't sticker anymore. And that's because I'm just a really functional planner and I like the way the stickers look and they make me happy, but that's the only way that I'll get stickers down. And then I have been adding lots of photographs this year after the week is over to my main monthly dashboard page. If you'd like to know more about how I personally plan, I have an updates playlist here on YouTube. It's called updates. I just give general planning updates every quarter there. So all my planning, also all my goal planning, which I've been using power sheets for the past year. Of course, I give updates constantly on Instagram. If you want to follow me there, I'd love for you to join me there too. But if you're interested more in my planning, I also have a whole video under my Erin Condren playlist about how I sticker my Erin Condren, 
how I functionally plan with stickers and why I sticker it all at once. If you want to check out that I named the colors make me happy. They flow with the seasons. They change every month. I love that. The three boxes, they just work for me. They work for me because I put appointments or very important to do's in the top box. The big highlighted things of the day, mainly just appointments, but also super important to do's for the day that like have to get done. And then The rest of my to-dos or just reminders flow to the next two boxes. I used to be really good about writing my workouts in the bottom boxes, but I haven't always kept up with that. Sometimes I've written the weather in the bottom boxes. I do put my weekly to-do list over here. It just works for me so well. It makes me happy. My weekly planner is my guiding light. My daily planner is where all my lists go for the day, and that's where it really gets messy. Although many would call my weekly planner messy, This is not messy to me. This is just functionally planning. My daily planner is where it takes a bigger hit than my weekly planner, but you can see my weekly planner is a workhorse for me. It does work for me. I make it work for me. And at the end of the week, especially if it's been a holiday, I go and print some pictures on my Polaroid zip. I do have a video up about my Polaroid zip and what I think about that. If you want to know more about that little printer. That is under my Erin Condren playlist or my journals playlist. You can just type Polaroid Zip into the channel search bar and it should come up. Those are my main reasons. Ah, the paper, the paper. I love Erin Condren paper. It's 80 pound paper. It has tooth to it, which I actually really like. I love the tooth to it, which just means a little bit of texture. So the feel of the paper, the smell of the paper, the way the paper takes pen, I love it. Just love it. I love her coils and just how they function and the feel of the book. I love how you can change your covers by the season. I can't imagine switching my weekly planner at this point, but we'll see. If you want to know what happens, follow me on Instagram or check my updates playlist. So that is my Erin Condren, my number one favorite weekly planner, which I am really partial to because, you know, I've been using it so long. Number two is Golden Coil. If you have been on my Instagram, you have heard about Golden Coil this year. This has quickly taken number two spot, number two to Erin Condren. I am in love with Golden Coil, everything about it. I'm completely in love with the company, the two sisters that started the company, what they've done. They've done amazing things. I just think it's brilliant. So this is my Golden Coil from 2019 weekly planner. They also have a daily, daily options. Golden Coil is a planner company where you can customize your entire planner. You pick either a daily or weekly layout and they have many of each for you to choose from. After you pick your layout, then there's all other kinds of customization you can make. You can pick any of their extra pages. So they have extra pages as in health pages, grocery list pages, goal planning pages, all kinds of extra pages, just lined pages, blank pages. You can stick them in between weeks, every week. You can stick them in between every month. You can stick them at the beginning of your planner, at the end of your planner. You choose the number, you choose what you do. It's pretty amazing. I'll show you, this is my 2019 layout that I chose. I have been using, or no, this is 2019, this is 2020. I have been using my 2020, here's a blank week though, where I wasn't using it, for content planning. It's been working so well, I think I'm gonna be carrying that over to 2020 in this golden coil. Their monthly layouts, Something to note is they're a Monday only start. They don't have a choice right now of a Sunday start. So I hope that's gonna be something they will add in the future, a customization. In between each month in here, since this was gonna be my content planner, I added two lined pages and two blank pages. I know it's weird. I don't know why I added two blank pages, but I wanted to play around with it. And that's in between every month. Every month I have two lined and two blank. And then I added just some other extras up front, reading lists, year at a glance two year to glances vertically. So you can just pick all these things and add them, whatever you want. I added some grid paper at the back. This is mine from this year. I do have, so it's a completely different weekly layout. You can pick to have quotes or no quotes. You can pick what type of quotes you want. You can choose to upload all your calendar events. So off your iCal or Google Calendar. They tell you how to do that on the site. I have not done it, but on my next Golden Coil, I really want to because I would love to see how that prints out. And then it prints all your calendar events on your weeks, like how holidays look in a light gray. I believe that's how it prints your events. 
And you also have to choose to put holidays in. So make sure you pick that option if you want holidays because they have all different kinds of holiday configurations you can choose from. So you choose to have holidays or no holidays. If you don't choose a holiday package, then you're choosing none. So make sure to add that if you want it. I have a full golden coil review up. I'm going to link down below because there's no way I can tell you all about it today. They also have the same 80 pound Mohawk paper with a little bit of tooth, just like Erin Condren. And I already told you, I love that paper. Although their paper is a little more creamy based and Erin Condren is more white. So that is something to note if that's important to you. But I do show you that in the golden coil video also, I'm pretty sure. And we do pen testing and all that type of stuff. So if you're interested, definitely go check out the detailed review video on golden coil because there's no way I can do it justice in this short little time, but I'm absolutely in love with this company and what you can do with a planner. Also, your coil size is based on what size you make your planner. They have all that outlined on their information page for you. Go check it out. It's fun to go through and see what options they have and build up a planner, even if you're not planning to buy right now. Number three is a brand new planner coming out for 2020. So this is the calendar year 2020 Moxie Life. I just did a full review video on Moxie Life and I showed you this is her vertical layout, but I also showed you the horizontal layout. This is a full year planner, but it is also an intensive goal planning system integrated into your yearly planner. Why I love this planner is because you have a full goal planning system that is simple yet very deep and easy to follow, and it has monthly check-ins with your goals, and then every single week, this is probably my very favorite part of the Moxie Life Planner. You have a notes and reflections page, which you can use in so many different ways. Notes and reflections could be journaling, it could be your weekly list, it could be any notes you need to make during the week. I love having a page in between your week. Then a weekly actions page. So for each one of your goal categories, what weekly actions are you going to take? And that is between every single weekly layout. Another feature I love is a habit tracker built into the week. Absolutely love that feature and these two pages and the fact that you are checking in with your goals every single week and thinking about them. This new planner, if it interests you, Moxie Life, definitely go check it out. My video will be linked down below. I I'm an affiliate for Moxie Life, but I don't have any discounts for Moxie Life. She is brand new, just launching right now. I am so excited to see where this company goes. Sierra, the uh, creator of this planner, is a, li a certified life coach and business coach. She's been coaching for years and she's also been in the planner community for years. So she combined her love of goal setting and coaching with her love of planners. And she has done a stellar job on this planner. Number four is get to workbook. Number four and five were hard. You guys, I have to admit, one, two, and three are definitely in my top three. Four and five were hard to choose between all my runner-ups and to pick number four and five. But Get to Workbook has been a favorite planner of mine ever since I found it about two and a half years ago when I first started my channel. It's just an amazing, simple planner with a goal check-in system also in it. It is all black and white. There are no holidays in it. It's completely open for you to use and fill out as you wish. Your weekly layouts are so clean and crisp and open. There's no dividing lines. So if you decide to write all the way across for some things, that works. You have a top three. I love the top three weekly action items. I love that they give you space at the bottom just to write in and that you could also draw a line here and just have more room for lists and just you know use the very top for just specific days of the week. Because it is so open, you can use it in any way. It really screams for you to just write on it and pen, pencil, highlighter, whatever you wanna use, make it your own. I've picked it up so many times to try to instituted in my life. The longest running that I've used it for is content planning. I loved it for that. I love Get to Workbook. My other favorite feature of Get to Workbook is that it comes with monthly motivation, but motivational art prints. They're perforated on really hard cardstock. You can tear them out or you can leave them in your calendar. I love the monthly reflect and goal set pages. The categories just resonate with me and it's a really simple way to reflect and goal set every month. Oh, I love this. Just a project page every month on your tabbed page to fill out a gridded project page. And then with every month, you also have a project action page. So just action items and a project you're working on 
I love these pages. They can be used for so many things. Get to Workbook is a planner I love. I do not have my 2020 review up yet, but I'm linking my 2019 review because the planner is exactly the same minus the art prints every month. I, I've looked through it. I don't think one other thing has changed in the Get to Work book in the 2020 planners. And number five in my top five is Passion Planner. My love for Passion Planner runs deep, y'all. Before I used Erin Condren Weekly, I used Passion Planner Weekly for quite a while. I know it seems like a weird jump, right? I have a whole video about that, like why I left Passion Planner and went to Erin Condren. I used Passion Planner before they even came out with the middle size, which they used to call the Pro, but it's just the medium size now. This is the medium size, formerly known as the Pro size. I used the large size because when I had a Passion Planner, all they had was the small or the large. They didn't have the medium size yet. I love Passion Planner because it is so open for any way you want to use it. Kind of like Get to Workbook, it screams for you to write in it, make it your own. I chose one color per month. I made it my own that way and I loved having just a color per month. I love the space of infinite possibility every week. I love that you have a big space for lists every week on the same page as your schedule. I love that you can use the time blocking or you can completely ignore the time blocking and just use this as a to-do list. I have picked up Passion Planner so many times since I stopped using it as my weekly planner, just in really busy times to map out my week or to time block things. Uh, People often ask me my favorite hourly planners. It's definitely Passion Planner or Erin Condren Hourly. I love Passion Planner for students. When people ask me the best planner for a high school student or college student, I always, number one, say Passion Planner. Absolutely, that's my number one favorite. I love how you have a week's focus, good things that happen that week. It's just a layout that works for so many people. And now that they have three different sizes, you can get dated or undated. It's a no brainer. It's such a great planner, portable, and it has a goal setting system in it also with a monthly check-in. If you want to see how my weeks looked when I planned in Passion Planner, I have a whole Passion Planner playlist up and I show you lots of my planning in Passion Planner so you can check that out. You also have room for lists on your monthly layout. If you just need a basic planner that fits in a backpack that's lightweight, a go-to to to really map out your life and know what's going on. I have a 10% off if it's your first Passion Planner purchase. That will be linked down below too. Let's get into my five runner-ups. These are my runner-ups in no particular order. Inkwell Press. Inkwell Press almost made my top five. Like I said, it was hard to choose those last two of my top five. I was actually using Inkwell Press, their quarterly books, which they don't make anymore, when I started my channel two and a half years ago. I love Inkwell Press. I truly love their new disc bound system. I think it is so versatile. I love their discs. I love their covers. I have a full video on all the 2020 Inkwell Press layouts. I show you vertical and horizontal. I show you the two different divider options. I go through everything 2020, as many inserts as I could get. That's all in my Inkwell Press 2020 video. I also have a $10 off Inkwell Press if it's your first purchase, and that link is down below. And I'm also an affiliate with Inkwell Press, and that link is down below. Here is the horizontal. When I used Inkwell Press, I used the horizontal. I loved the layout. There was a lot of room on the lines. I loved the three boxes. I used those for appointments for my day. That's just how I used it. It was easy for me to see if I had any appointments or places we had to go to that day. If not, then everything else was at home. I am a stay-at-home mom that homeschools my two boys. I formerly was a kindergarten teacher for three years before I had my kids, but my oldest is 16, so I have been home for many, many years. The appointments that just worked out perfect for me. I love so much about Inkwell Press. I love their monthly dashboard check-in pages. I love their mission board and their plan and focus and habit trackers for the month. I love how their paper is 140 GSM. It is so thick and wonderful, y'all. Their disc bound system truly works so well. Your pages will never fall out. You just saw me pull out that page, right? With that same page I pulled out, you can lift up your entire planner and swing it vigorously. Sorry, I'm hitting my microphone there, I think. I don't wanna do that. We'll move the mic a little bit to do this. Swing it vigorously and it will not come out. That is because they have such thick paper and they have built such a stellar disc system. I'm a big fan because you can make this into a monthly, weekly, and daily planner with their undated daily pages if you want. 
you can make it just into a monthly planner and have their goal planner in there. I also review their whole goal planning insert, which is a year long goal planning system. I review that in my 2020 video of Inkwell Press. So their paper and their layouts, I am a big fan of and their new disc system. So that is Inkwell Press. Unbound is a little known planner in the planner world, I feel like, but it's a a little gem. I just recently did a review on this, so it is up on YouTube. It has an extensive goal planning system for just a little bound book, and your goals are carried out throughout your weeks. Your weeks are vertical, and my favorite part of this planner is every single week you have this two-page spread, which has your weekly tasks, weekly goals, week's priorities, weekly reflect reflections and notes, and daily habits. This is a two-page spread in between every single week. I just think it's a great planner. They incorporate your goals into every week and every month with check-ins. Here's what your monthly spread looks like. It's a typical Sunday start, and they leave you a big section for monthly reflection there. This is a really nice, compact, beautiful quality planner. If you need something compact that looks professional, they have it in other colors that might be a little bit more professional like navy. If you are interested in Unbound, that video will be linked down below too. Mom Agenda. Mom Agenda was a planner brand new to me this year. A friend on Instagram introduced me to Mom Agenda and I thought it was such a great planner. I wrote to them. They agreed to do a a review with me and it's not just for moms. They actually have some for moms and some are called, I cannot remember their other line, that's not for moms. The big difference on the mom agendas, they have a place that says kids. On their other agendas, it doesn't say kids, it's just blank. They also have room for some like kid information up front in the mom agenda and in the other version, they don't. So they do have several versions. They have a really great just monthly planner notebook if you need just a lined monthly planner. I'll tell you my favorite things about it. I love that their weeks are lined, yay just all the lines. I love how you have the categories divided up here. Even if you don't want to use it for kids, you can use that division for so many different things. It could like be for dinner. It could be for like workout. It could be for your gratitude for the day. All those divisions could be used for different things if you don't need to use them for kiddos, which I specifically don't need to use them even though I have kids like in that manner. And so when I have played around using this, I have actually not used it that way. All their months are up front and this is an 18 month planner. It's just a really great company and not well known, I feel like. And I feel like everyone who hears the name thinks it can only be for moms, but it's not. And they even make a whole line not for moms. Even if you preferred the one for moms, I would say you can just ignore the word kids and you can just ignore the few pages up front to fill in about your kids. And you could definitely use this planner also. And they have a ton of note pages in the back. And for an 18 month planner, it's just so condensed. You have so much in this little book. All right, number four runner up is Happy Planner. I have a whole review about this Squad Life Happy Planner and their Wellness Happy Planner, which I reviewed this year, both in the same video. I had not tried out Happy Planner until this year. And I decided I liked the Squad Life so much that these are Inkwell Press rings though, because I just prefer the Inkwell Press discs. I decided to use it for memory keeping, a really simple memory keeping planner where I didn't have to write that much. The Squad Life with the seasonal, beautiful drawings and colors just motivated me to use it for that. It just makes me happy. That's what it is about the seasonal one. I also think their wellness planner is a stellar wellness planner, although I did not keep up with using it because honestly, I have so many planners and journals going that just wasn't something that I needed in my life right now. I only bought two happy planner sticker books. I think one was gold star quotes and this one was a holiday one and that has been enough for me in here. So I have really enjoyed using this happy planner for the price you can't really get anything better to make you happier. You can use the coupons that come at Michael's or Hobby Lobby to buy them for 40% off and you can get a really great deal. And the fact that you can change your planner out covers, insides, make it your own because of the disc bound system. You can't beat the price on the happy planner. I say this with caution. You have to be careful when you get an happy planner. Luckily, I'm not someone who goes crazy buying all the sticker books and buying all the planners from happy planner because obviously I do planner reviews and I have, you know, shelves of planners. I can see how it would be really simple to want happy planner comes out with so many different planners so many times a year. This was an 18 month one. I whittled it down to 12 months is in here. 
you can get really caught up into wanting to get all their sticker books, all the new planners, because each line they come out with is so beautiful. And every time they come out with new planners, there are so many different lines. They have something for everyone. They are available online if you're not familiar with them, but they are also available in all Michael stores, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's stores. My last but not least runner up is the Weekly Simplified Planner. I truly do love this little bound book. I have never found a use in my life to use it long term other than the monthly layouts. I've actually used the monthly layouts to kind of sit on my dresser in my room next to my bed, my lower dresser. So I can just put our main stuff in there and like every night when I go to bed, I've used this off and on like this. So I am using it right now. I can just kind of look, so this is today, and see kind of the big things we have going on coming up just to kind of remind myself as I go to bed. And I do put big events in my iCal in my phone and share that with my family. But these aren't always things like appointments. And those are the only things that go on my iCal pretty much. These are things like, what are my big things for tomorrow? Oh, we need to go to Whole Foods and I need to edit a video. You see what I'm saying? These are like my huge things for the next day that can often almost seem lost in my daily planner page, which it shouldn't be that way. They should be at the top and highlighted. But this just kind of gives me a general range. And with her wonderful tabs, it makes it easy for me to turn to each month. I love the way her monthly layouts look, just the look of them. They're beautiful, simple, clean. Her weekly layouts, have never been quite big enough for me to use, but I love the look of the Simplified Weekly Planner. I've used her daily planner for many years until I just started using Golden Coil Daily, but this would have been like my fifth year in Simplified Daily Planner. So I've been a big fan of Simplified and her daily planner for a long time. What I don't like on the weekly is the Saturday is very small. Sunday is tiny because she includes the Sunday prep, which I wish wasn't there, but I really need more room on my Saturday and Sunday than that. That really just doesn't work for me. But one of the other things I like, besides just the look of it, I love how easy it is to flip to your different months. I love the compact size of the book. I love that there are note pages included at the back of your weekly. So it's just a great little compact portable book. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know your thoughts below. Tell me your favorite planner. Like, what are you going to use for 2020? I would love to hear down below. I would love to hear your top three planners. That would be so fun. Share that with me down in the comments. Then we can all read each other's favorites. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy planning, and we'll see you next time.